A little while ago, I made a video doing astrophotography with the Nikon Z50. During that video, I mentioned I also did a same frame comparison shot with the Nikon D750 using the same lens with the exact same settings. But we're going to do this comparison test just a little bit different in this video. We're going to play a game. In this video, you're going to be seeing some comparison shots with the mirrorless Nikon Z50 versus the Nikon D750 DSLR photographing the Milky Way, and also the Nikon Z50 versus the Nikon Z7 doing both photos and video of the full moon. I wanted to see if there was any noticeable differences between shooting with a crop sensor camera to a full frame camera. To make it as fair as I could in each individual test taking the same framed shot, I used the same lens, same camera settings, including white balance. However, we're gonna play a little game called You Tell Me. You are gonna tell me which camera took which shot. What I'm gonna be doing is putting the shots together via split screen, and I'm gonna push in on those shots to give you some sort of an idea of which camera took which shot. But I'm gonna stay quiet. Which camera took which shot? Was it the Z50 or the D750? Or was it the Z50 or the Z7? When you've got your answers, leave them in the comments below. Okay, let's start off by doing the crop sensor Nikon Z50 versus the Nikon D750 full frame DSLR. I used the Nikon 14 to 24 millimeter f2.8 G lens and on the Z50, I used it via the FTZ2 adapter. Here's the shots side by side. The settings on both cameras were 15 seconds exposure, f2.8, ISO 2500, and the white balance was 3900 Kelvin. Which camera took which shot? Got your answer? Good. Let's move on to the next comparison. We've had some pretty good full moons here of late, so I decided to do a test comparison with the Nikon Z50 versus the Nikon Z7 taking both photos and video. I paired both cameras, the crop sensor Z50 and the full frame Z7 with my Nikon 80 to 400 millimeter VR lens via the FTZ2 adapter. Here's a photo of the full moon from both cameras side by side. The settings on both cameras were 1 1 60th of a second, F10, ISO 160. Which camera took which shot?
Got your answer? Great. Let's move on to some video now. First of all, I'm gonna be doing some 4K video. Then I'm gonna do some HD in-camera slow-mo. Again, I'm gonna push in on both the shots to try and help you judge. Which camera took which video shot? Remember to leave your answers, either A or B, for each image in the comments below. And what I'm gonna be doing is revealing the answers in next week's video. So make sure you subscribe and keep your eyes open for that video. Well, thank you so much for watching and playing. Never stop creating, and I'll see you next time.